What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the NRW show. I am Rob Medina, and I want to thank you all for joining us here today. And today I've got here my boys, Mr. Kuya P himself, who's still searching for the truth. And Mr. Glenn Lawrence, the level of the king. How are you both doing today here, guys? Ah, good, all right. <laughs> all, all right. Ah. I found my truth. I'm good, man. I'm good. I know you did, Glenn. <laughs> Mr. KP, how's the search still going for you? You know, I'm not even still gonna, struggling. I'm not even going to start with you today. Still man. struggling. Hey, listen, this is what I was telling you for, about man. Glenn. Glenn, he's got a big head on his shoulders now, bro. Listen, <laughs> got a big head on them shoulders. It, man. Don't bring me into it. Got big balls in his face. Oh, pants. there you go. A big ball on top of that body right there. Nah. Well, it's as you all know, today it is my week to host. It is my week to pick the th- top three films this week that are going to be coming out. And I want to thank you all for being so patient with me here because today's week, today's, I'm sorry, I mean, this week, I meant to say, I got some good ones here for you. But for those out there who don't know, if you guys have not done so already, you can follow us on our social media accounts. So you can get the full list of all the releases this week on our Twitter and also on Instagram. Make sure you follow us on there. If you haven't done so already, you should because we've been telling you guys for the last how many weeks? Six, <laughs> seven weeks here? Jesus. Yeah. Catch up, guys. Anyways, that being said, though, gentlemen, anything new this week that you guys got coming up here, starting with you, Mr. KP. Oh, uh, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, life is blessed. Life is good uh, on the personal front. Yeah, life is blessed. I don't want to get too much in my personal business. Yeah. But uh, yeah, actually, there's something that just reminded me that I need to talk to Mr. Glenn about. But I'll mm-hmm. talk about that offline. Y'all don't need to know about all that. Maybe later. But mm-hmm. uh, for the channel and our dub uh, this past week, I was back on WTOP. That's 103.5 uh, WTOP FM radio here in the DC area. I was talking all about turning red that is streaming now on Disney plus an amazing film again for all you uh, parents of kids, uh, you know, and, and especially you girl dads, you want a film that can help you uh, relate with your child and, and speak on uh, growing up in maturity, uh, adolescence. Uh, you know, it, it's a beautiful film. Talked about that. And of course, young rock season two, I think launches this week on Wednesday. And uh, last week I had the uh, honor of talking to the entire cast of Young Rock. And so I'll have all of those interviews up this week, as well as full coverage of the entire press junket uh, as well. So stay tuned for that. And uh, some other goodies that I can't think of off the top of my head. Oh, expired, which is uh, releasing this week. I don't think we're going to be covering it because I don't think it was one of Bobby Big Ball's picks, but uh, I spoke with the writer director of Expired as well as the star Jillian Wynn. I'll have those uh, interviews dropping this week as well. So a lot of content from me. Oh, and Show Pal Show. Can't forget about Show Pal Show. Uh, my <laughs> Philippine X squad. I'll have Empress Azula out of the United Kingdom talking nice. all about cosplay as well as the biggest Filipino festival in the UK called Philly Fest. Uh, we'll be talking all about that. So just a ton of content coming from your boy. Nice. And Mr. Level Up, how are <laughs> things going for you so far? I, that was that was long. Uh, <laughs> and I feel like I'm lacking because I don't have half as much stuff. It's because it's because you put in other kind of work right now, which is important. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing Fam- wrong with that, Glenn. Yeah. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> I got family work going on. There we Kids go. Growing. He's most growing, important growing work. Up. Yep. Yeah, the most important word. But, um, you know, we're we're moving forward on the level up blur dad studio. So that is kind of cool. Let's go. Uh, hopefully before long, you'll see a different setup and you'll see the return of the blur dad podcast. Uh, did a show this past Sunday. That was very, very cool. So nice. just gonna get out there and perform a little bit more. So things are picking up. There'll be some interesting things to uh, discuss in the in the coming days um in terms of comedy as well as uh, podcasting but uh always as always you can find me here of course you know that's also going on so, so that was a first show, and though. when that house is all set up you're going to be helping me out with all these interviews right you're going to yeah. help lighten my load yeah lighten up my load so yes. i don't have to do them all so yes yeah see yes. see so i'm just i'm filling in you're for you until you're to. ready to <laughs> take off some of my load brother <laughs> That's right. We always know that Kuya P needs to get his loads off. He needs to. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. About with that. <laughs> what about you, Bobby Medina? Robert Medina? Bobby Bob, Big Balls? Bob, Bobby Medina? <laughs> I know. Yeah. I don't know what the hell I was saying. What about you, brother? What you got going on? Well, so I got a new episode this week for You're So Cool with Rob Medina with the composer, uh, Sean Murray. I'm, if that name doesn't sound familiar to you guys, he's the guy that composed a lot of uh, video games uh, such as uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, World at War, uh, among other things as well, two films and a lot of films with Jesse V. Johnson, who I'm a very big fan of as well. So that'll be dropping later this week. 
I'm intending on trying to do a review for one of the films that he just recently um, scored for a movie called Tiger's Run. I'm not sure if we've ever reacted to that uh, video or the preview at all. That doesn't sound familiar. But um, yeah, I'm thinking about trying to get it, try to squeeze in some time for me to watch that movie, hopefully to get a review done by this week in time for the uh, the episode before it gets uploaded this week. And uh, other than that, um, nothing else is going on here. Just prepping up for an interview that I got later today with a brand with a really good band based out in California, in Lancaster, California. I, I've never heard of it. And I think uh, there's so many places out in California that I don't even know exist, like Pittsburgh, California, just a bunch of other uh, cities out there that I'm completely unaware of here. So I came across these guys. I'll be talking with them tonight. Hopefully I'll have that episode up right by next week as well, too. But otherwise, that is pretty much it for me on my end here. Um, but otherwise, anything else going on, guys, before we get started with the show? No, I'm just I'm I'm excited. I love the energy that you're bringing here. Rob, this is uh, it's fun. Well, I, I was rehearsing for the last two hours, so that's why <laughs> <laughs> it feels very official. Like, because you have like the pen and everything, you have the paper, yeah. like you're taking uh, notes or whatever. Yeah, I got, I got all my script right here. No, no, you I wrote some of, stuff down to. Uh, remind to me of make like sure David Leverman or like uh, Conan O'Brien. I just got to get the glasses and the bald head, which I already got going on anyways here. So, oh snap! All right, guys. Um, so. It is my week, so let's get started with the first trailer we're going to be reacting to. So I don't have any punchlines, any uh, dad jokes to get into this here. <laughs> it's not my field of expertise. Uh, Mr. Uh, KP will be handling that when he comes back to hosting duties here. So the first one we're going to be reacting to here is going to be for the trailer of the film. Oh, my God. I think which one I forget. X. Is that the film that I picked out for the third one? X. No. Tollbooth. Oh, That's what it was. Yeah. Tollbooth. <laughs> I'm already forgetting my film. So, yeah, we're going to be reacting to Tollbooth here. Let's check it out. Come on. You must have more than that. I don't. What else you got? I've got a sandwich. Oh, come on. Go ahead. There's been a terrorist incident. He might think I'm in the middle of nowhere right here, but really I'm in the middle of everything. What do you need? Mm. I expect retribution immediately. No problem. What can anyone tell me about our friend in the toll booth? No one will tell the truth when it comes to you. I want to know why. I make other people's business my business. You're sure? Again, this is the last time we understand who you're dealing with. This is dude from Game of Thrones. What sort of racket are you running from this box? We'll get to that. I'm going to be receiving a visitor. You are in so much trouble. Working in a toll booth, eh? It's an honest living. Magnus, I found him. The search is over. Jordan, you (laughs) did want me to do that, didn't you? I done a terrible thing a long time ago. Somebody's gonna have to pay for it. You're some sort of criminal? Yeah. And there are more of you on the way. Yeah. There's gonna be two more bodies to dispose of. All right, boss. Roger that. Everybody pays. Got a musket. Okay. An old school here. I like this stuff. Tell me the truth. What do you think? Intriguing. Interesting. I like it. Like one of those, uh, yeah, you know, those international films that come over that, you know, kind of just sparks some ride. interest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm yeah. intrigued. I'm interested by some that. Some reviews on the way. I don't, do you guys remember uh, Old Country or No Country for Old Men? Yeah, oh yeah. Of yeah, uh, and that scene with uh, Harveen uh, Bardem where Javier. he walks in with Javier. Um, what Javier. did I say? Harveen. Har- yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it's all right, Glenda. Uh, don't uh, worry about it. Javier <laughs> Bardem. <laughs> Y'all got um, name screwed up. Where, where he comes into that dude's little office and it's like kind of like the the outskirts of nowhere. I got yeah. those type of vibes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Okay, uh, I was so curious where what, you're going with it, but okay, yeah, I got you. Like, remember that scene where he walks in and it's like all kind of desolate and he's yeah, like, yeah. oh no, I love that up. film. It was a great yeah. film. It's yeah. So if it's a, it, you know, that I don't know. That scene just reminded me of it where they like walk in and they're sticking up the guy. This seems obviously much more comedic. It reminds me yeah. of like a like a Guy Ritchie deal. Yeah. It seems it that. seems a little more serious though than it compared to at least some of the uh Guy Ritchie earlier films. So I'm a little I'm kind of like interested because it seems funny, but it looks more serious, especially towards the end of the trailer. So yeah. I'm, I'm not really sure what the tone of the film is because it's kind of giving me both vibes of being yeah. a bit of both. Yeah. So I'm curious, yeah. So like, for you all, is it going to be a uh, yay or nay for as far as this film's concerned? If you get an opportunity to watch it, um, yeah, if I, if it's on, I catch it, <laughs> I catch it. Mm. Yeah, I'm intrigued by it enough. 
I, uh, I I dig it, man. I'm all on. I'm blah. Why can't I speak today? I'm saying the wrong uh-huh. names. I'm stuttering. Um, I'm all in for this film because I really like those uh, those uh, foreign international little heist movies or whatever. It's always interesting to see how other people live. Like we yeah. know how the heists go in America, you know. Yeah. I mean? But like how it goes like overseas. Uh, and I'm right there with you, Rob, in terms of the trailer looked very humorous up top. And then it got like real serious towards the end. So I'm very mm. interested to see what the tone is of the film. I'm I'm excited. Who Did you happen to see who was directing this one? I, I, I saw the name Paul, but I wasn't sure if the last name was listed as Haggis. So if that's the same director that I'm oh. thinking of, he's the guy that did, uh, I believe, Crash, if I'm not mistaken. Which okay. one? Like, best picture back in what? Oh, four, oh, three, something like that. I could be wrong. I just oh. I just kind of glanced at it very quickly. Oh, Ryan Andrew Hooper is who it says on. Is the uh, director? Yeah, Ryan Andrew oh, okay. Hooper. Is there yeah. a Paul listed on there in the credits for writer? Or there's person? there's no Paul anywhere on. Oh, okay. On this. Damn. Then. <laughs> well, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Oh, yeah. don't, I'm don't, already don't rubbing off of you, Glenn. All right. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> our producer is like, you know, let's keep moving, guys. All right. Anyways, so <laughs> our next trailer here. So I've uh, picked. Got a film that uh, I believe looked very good when we kind of got a glance of it the first time around. And I'm curious to see what we're going to be getting this time around. So this is going to be for the movie X, which I'm sure you all will recall when we get a look at the trailer. Farmer's daughter, take one. I need to be famous, oh. Wayne. All the best people are. Nobody so not, like not a DMX documentary. <laughs> you know why? Why? Yeah, oh, that's Cuddy. Yeah. 24 film. 24 banger. Hollywood, here we come. I just want to oh, this is it. Our own studio backlog. I feel like whenever you go through those arches, serial killing is about to happen. Yeah. That's Julie McMahon. Look this whole bitch. You from Nip Tuck, Mr. Fantastic. My wife, Pearl, is oh, not Mr. Finn. I'm sorry. I'm going to say uh, Dr. Victor Don Doom. Uh, you don't know what we're doing, does he? The music's dope. better to beg for forgiveness and ask for permission. Would you like to come inside? What's your boss? I want to be in the movie. Well, you can't. The story can't just change midway through. Hmm. Daddy catches us. There's no telling what he might do. Ah, oh. it's not well. It happens after dark. Just the fact that there's a growl in the background here, I'm, I'm confused. Uh oh. Oh, okay, that's creepy. Make it, old ladies. You don't want to leave, do you? Eyes are gonna pop out of their damn skulls when they see this. <laughs> Glory hole set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that a crocodile? What? It looks like. Are you alright? No. Really is a dope trailer. Yeah. I like his composition. I see one goddamn fucked up horror picture. Wow, (laughs) that's interesting. Yeah. So, thoughts. Glenn, you want to go first? (laughs) Uh, I really enjoy that. It's going to be interesting to see how the cast gels together. Um, it looks it looks great uh so far i'm not really into horror but i feel like i would check this one out and no it's not because of the sex it's because of my man kid cuddy's in there yeah. uh, and it looks like a an original kind of concept you know what i mean so uh, i'm i'm very interested to see how it how it works and i'm into mature stuff that too so you know it looks like the old lady there your content mature, mature content going on <laughs> uh so i'm in for it i'm in i'm down cool cool how about you, uh, KP? Ah, oh, man, that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I, I was going to take that in another way, a segue from off of from uh, Glenn, but I, 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 I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. Mm. Uh, for me, <laughs> uh, of the films that were in the list, if it, if it was my week, 
this week uh, instead of Rob's. This would have been my top pick. Um, uh, I'm the most intrigued about this one. Uh, you, we did the reaction before about it. it we saw it again now. Um, but yeah, it has all those elements. And to, and to Glenn's point, you know, it has a lot of different things going on there. Uh, not just because of sex, but it has the horror. It has It touches upon that adult business in this time period. And just all the actors that are in it, I think are phenomenal. Um, yeah. I want to highly recommend uh, a film that's available right now on HBO Max that features uh, one of the stars that is in this, Jenna Ortega, uh, the young uh, Hispanic uh, young lady that's uh, in, in this. Uh, it's a she stars in the Fallout, which is uh, I don't know if we did a reaction to that on the channel. Sounds but, uh, familiar, yeah. Mm. But a uh, young Jenna Ortega is in high school, and uh, all of a sudden. Uh, a, a shootout happens in her school. So it's essentially what oh. happens after a school shooting, hence the fallout. Great film. Jenna is amazing in it. And uh, a really deep film, a very touching, very, uh, you know, it makes you think about the society now that, you know, cause we seem to have school shootings happening a lot, you know, a lot. Uh, uh, you know, more so than when, Myself and Glenn were little whippersnappers, right? Because <laughs> um, we're the old heads in here, right? So, what you guys uh, call yourselves? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, man, it's a, it's a great film. I would highly suggest it, and it's a very, you know, bring the tissues, but it, it makes you think about, you know, just where society is now. So, uh, I would highly recommend that. And with her being in this film, uh, and again with Kid Cudi, Scott Mascuti, Brittany Snow, uh, everybody, this Mia Goth. Uh, yeah, this this would be my top pick of the week. So, I'm definitely checking this one out, Bobby Big Balls. All right, so that what about was, you, so, Bobby. I was gonna say it's gonna be a, a a thumbs up on mine as well too. Uh, yeah, this movie. Um, it's interesting because I'm confused because there was a part you hear growls in the background. I wasn't sure if there's an actual like monster that that's actually in the film. Um, they kind of hinted that, but then again, we saw the crocodiles. It might be from coming from them. Um, but somehow that really actually piqued my interest that much more because I'm curious to see oh. if there's some sort of like uh, monster factor like behind a that as well too. Threat, more so yeah. than a realistic threat. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got you. I so, think but, I think my money's on like it's it's actual people. Like there's actually yeah, like, I think that's the case. People, yeah. but but I could see your point because again, it's misleading the way they presented yeah. everything in the trailer. It could be so. Yeah. It would be interesting if there's a supernatural threat. Yeah, okay. I'd be curious about that. But yeah, so yeah, it's a, it's a definitely a good uh, go for me too to check this out. So, all right, now my top pick of the week. Now I know this would be kind of considered to be kind of like a a. Uh, a cheesy pick for me, but honestly, you know, after this past week of spending time with my family, because I got to hang out with my nieces, my sister and everybody, um, you know, I reconsidered my top pick. And I thought off, just coming off of that weekend, I really want to just emphasize on the fact that there is a family film coming out this week for everyone to check out. I definitely will be looking into it here. Uh, wasn't going to before, um, but, you know, hearing a little bit what I've heard so far earlier, I think uh, I might be very interested to check out what their take on this remake is for cheaper by the dozen so let's have a check out for that Ooh, okay didn't see that one coming oh no it's a code red code red baby okay. we're late we're late let's roll let's roll i'm zoe dj let's go oh we're gabrielle ready. union Up i love and it Adam. Yeah. and this is paul exactly. morning Dave. morning paul we turned our two families into one all right rise morning. and shine Wake up, Alex. Oh, this video goes on your Instagram in three, two. Dad, no. Touch me. Lose a finger. Good morning to you, too. Damn. Luna, strong oh, choice. Play. Suggestion. Take off one thing. Solid advice. Ow, <laughs> that kid is hilarious. She's a great actress. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're not a cult. No. But we're weird. We're one of a kind all the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I really feel like there were a few extra children in there. I didn't recognize some of them. <laughs> we are the bakers. Ten nice. kids and no nanny. Wait, you have ten kids? Shockingly, I enjoy being with my kids. I do too. You do too, yeah. I do too. <laughs> you guys are funny. You know you can go to your room. But don't you want to do a TikTok dance with us? Because we're so irresistibly adorable. You're not even doing it right. You have to Damn. clap the back of the hands and then throw. You're embarrassing the family. Go to your room. Oh, Lord. Get me strength. But I love that hair. It's yeah, really the kids that were a united front. Who invited the Jackson 9? If y'all looking for Disneyland, you made a wrong turn. Family has each other's back. Oh, my God. Everyone's looking at us. Oh! Oh! oh. 
Yeah, I can't move. I know. I, I know. can't move. Thanks for being so average and relatable, Paul. With average looks and ordinary body. Oh. Go! What are you guys playing? Drag race. Fun. I love RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> The bloody nose. <laughs> That's not what it seems. So you guys weren't having a Fast and Furious style race for money? Whoa. I just realized we're not smarter than you. <laughs> yeah. Gives me the uh the, the fuzzies inside of a it's a fast appropriate thing to say here, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh man. Um okay. <laughs> All right, so Glenn, I, you look like you uh, seem to uh, get a kick out of that trailer. So obviously, it's going to be a, a go for you for for if you get an opportunity to check it out. Yeah, just you know, in my older age, I've been a lot more soft. Uh, I love Miley Cyrus and like Taylor Swift and you know all these little teeny boppers. I really enjoy their music, and I found myself just enjoying things more. So something like this that I'm like, ah, when I was younger, I wanted something hard edge. Now yeah. I'm just really into like just something fun and light and fluffy uh yeah. like this to enjoy so you know plus being a dad now i can't imagine having 10 like i'm i have one kid that you know <laughs> the wife takes care of and i can't imagine having 10 other kids or nine other kids to to deal with that scene with the lunchables or, or packing the lunches is great mm -hmm. uh, so i'm all in for this as a matter of fact i'll probably watch it tonight well tonight. it's not out yet tonight Come on, man. I got I got secrets, bro. I got, you know what I'm saying? Actually, I, you know, I got we'll ways. About, we can talk. I could actually make it happen for you tonight. Well, that's what I'm saying. Why you have to bring it up? You go and make it happen. I, I just wanted the people that not, you know, when they see this, it's not available till this Friday for everyone else. Oh, okay. All when right. they actually see this. So all right. Well, you know, see. Clearing if they watch up. anytime, if only if they watched it like tomorrow or like the next day, would that comment not have worked? <laughs> <laughs> Any other day they would be like, oh cool. I'll watch. <laughs> there we Anyways, go. I'm all in. I'm all in. What about you, Kuyapi? What are you thinking? Oh, sorry. Right, well, I was thinking I'd go last since I was the one that actually oh, saw this. Film. Yeah, right. And so let's so let me throw to Bobby. Why 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 is it your topic before I add my my conjecture? Well, as I've already said before, after have to hang out with a family this past oh, week. Yeah, that's right. did, yeah, yeah, did, yeah. Did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You weren't paying attention. I know. <laughs> oh, damn, this guy. <laughs> Hey, you All see right. how your words come back to hurt you, Kuyapi? Yeah. Man, I try to give everybody love. I want to make sure. You oh, know, that was out of love, too. Everybody's love. putting their piece in, but you, you're right. He did. He's He's got me there. Got Again, me. Bobby Big Balls, his head is growing. Anyway. It's this pen, man. It's giving me some source of power that I never had before. No. All right. Go. So, uh, um, y'all, man, the reason why, you know, again, like Bobby brought it in earlier, there's been a lot of cheaper by the dozens. I've seen them all. Some mm -hmm. good, some okay. Um, mm -hmm. With this one, uh, I had the blessing of seeing it uh, like a week before last. Uh, what makes this one so amazing is Kenya Barris uh, is the writer behind this one. Oh, uh, yeah. You know him from Blackish. Blackish. You know, yeah. from Girls Trip. You, you know him from Grownish. And if you haven't seen hashtag Black, Black AF, yes, Black AF, where, where yeah. he's playing himself, uh, the man's amazing. He's a great writer. He's bringing basically his knowledge set to this cheaper by the dozen film. And what I was surprised. Because at first when I saw the trailer and everything beforehand, um, I thought it'd be cheesy, cheesy as hell. And, you know, there's a mixed couple. I thought it just be they just put a mixed couple out there. But I didn't think that they'd actually touch upon it being a mixed couple that just would be just to, sh you know, for them to just kind of show that. Mm -hmm. But actually talk about being a mixed couple. I was happy to see that they, they confronted it. It's actually without spoiling, you know, a main part of this film. And uh, so I'm really excited for the world to see this. Uh, it, it, it is very sweet. It is has some cheese elements. There's some Velveeta in there, some provolone, <laughs> some American, uh, but it's, it's 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 very sweet. It, it's it's got a, a heart to it. Um, it's and got some monster. Some good humor to it. Hence, you know, Kenya Barris, you know, back there on the writing chores. Um, it was it, it took me by surprise. I was very happy with it. And I'm happy to hear Bobby Big Balls and Glenn as family men like myself wanting something to share with their family this is a perfect film for that highly suggested guys you're gonna have a good time with this film with your families uh so recommend recommend for a family film y'all and uh stay tuned uh heather heather don't hurt him is gonna be doing the press conference this week so she'll have that coverage uh coming to our wordpress and, and or she might be doing a youtube video i don't know yet but she'll be doing uh some of the press junkets for us that will be appearing on our wordpress and youtube but uh highly recommend good film 
Cool. All right. So those are the picks of the week here from WAP. And uh, gentlemen, to close it off here, where can they all find you on your social media? Okay, starting with you, Mr. Glenn Lawrence. Where can we go find you here? Hey, you? you can check me out. Levelupcomedy.com. Glenn Lawrence Comedy on your... No, Glenn, yeah. Glenn Lawrence Comedy on Facebook and IG and Glenn Levels Up on Twitter. Nice. And KP, where can they find you on socials? All right. Yeah. Before I do that again, uh, right. Expired was is one of the picks this week. I have my interviews with the writer, director, Ivan Sen, as well as the star Jillian Wynn. And I just remembered I'll be talking with Gary Farmer tomorrow, who is an amazing veteran actor, indigenous actor. I'll be talking all about indigenous representation within Resident Alien, an amazing TV sci-fi series that Bobby Big Balls covered with Heather uh, for the channel. So I'll be talking all about how Resident Alien is doing indigenous representation uh, so immaculately well uh, on Resident Alien. So check out for that interview with Gary Farmer this week. Uh, but for me, it's the Legend Kuya P on Twitter, TikTok, and IG, and of course, Show Pal Show. And here with Bobby Big Balls and Glenn oh. Lawrence at the NRW at New Release Wednesday, where nerds. Wait. The world. Whoa, 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 you guys are just jumping ahead. I forgot my socials here. Well, no, no, no. I was just having you finish that and then throwing it to oh, you. Oh, okay, okay. If you don't yeah, do well. that, you had me go. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. I'm a terrible producer. Right, so at the NRW and annually Wednesday, where nerds rule the world. Nerds rule the there world. We go. There we go. All right, Bobby, go ahead, man. All right. Sorry for the party pooping guys here, but you all can follow me on my socials on Instagram and on Facebook. I'm sorry, on Twitter. Jeez, I'm fucking up too. Uh, Mr. Rob Medina and on Facebook, Rob Medina. And you can follow my social media accounts on Instagram. You're so cool. Rob Medina on Twitter. You're so cool. WRM. And I promise next time, guys, I will not be as sloppy as that is this week, but I appreciate you all watching the show here this week. Until next time, y'all stay safe out there and au revoir. Au revoir. All right.